At the top of the program, we told you about a new assessment from a top Homeland Security official describing the threat environment ahead of the midterm elections as, quote, incredibly heightened. Also just in, Arizona Secretary of State tonight says she sent additional reports of uh, what uh, they call multiple, uh, excuse me, potential voter intimidation to the state's attorney general's office and the, fe and the federal justice department. Now, we should point out the Secretary of State, Katie Hobbs, is the Democrat running for governor in the state. In any event, the new alleged incidents come in addition to the one that got so much attention over the weekend. CNN's Kyung La has more. Outside an early ballot drop box in Mesa, Arizona, two men armed, wearing tactical gear, watching voters. A vigil taking place over multiple nights. Hi, guys. One woman, a Phoenix area grandmother, decided to confront them. Okay. Hey, don't oh, touch oh. Oh. Why did you decide to go out there? I'm standing up and pushing back against those people and standing up for everybody's right to vote. You don't mind if I set up right here, do you? Without fear of uh, retaliation or any kind of intimidation. Hi, how are you? She asked we you? not show her face because she did this, went right up in the armed man's face. You know, I, I don't talk. I, I take care of business. I go out there and I do what I have to do. Nice to meet you. I push Hi. back against uh, these kind of people, right, people who are intimidating voters. No, he's putting that in my face. I'm sitting down. He's with a gun standing over top of me. And I'm standing up and pushing back against those people and standing up for everybody's right to vote without fear of uh, retaliation or any kind of intimidation. I'm just sitting here. I'm not even communicating with them. I'm sitting right here. You know, seeing that, you would think you were in, you know, some autocratic nation and not the United States of America. Two outdoor ballot drop boxes in Maricopa County have become an election flashpoint. Around the clock, so-called ballot watchers are camped out. Late Sunday night, we saw this group of women at the same drop box. You're not supposed to talk to anybody? Thank you. They didn't want to talk. At another drop box in downtown Phoenix, they're photographing voters. And already, these actions are impacting how voters feel. According to complaints filed and referred to the Department of Justice last week, one voter complained he was called a mule. That's a reference to a conspiracy movie that spread lies about the 2020 election. I'm talking about people who have spread lies. To Maricopa County Board Supervisor Bill Look, Gates, a I'm Republican who has who defended has the election process, two years of lies have come to this. Why are you in camouflage? From, from what, how, how's that going to keep people from seeing you? You're in a parking lot. We're really losing rationality and logic here. Arizona has lived through the discredited partisan review of Maricopa County's 2020 ballots. And now Republicans on the midterm ballot, like gubernatorial nominee Kerry Lake, are raising doubts about this November's election before a single vote has even been counted. I'm afraid that it probably is not going to be completely fair. I wish I could sit here and say I have complete faith in this system. I don't have faith in this system. We begin to look at defining fence. Republican Secretary of State nominee Mark Fincham urged followers on social media to watch all drop boxes and made a conspiracy reference to Democratic donor George Soros. This is why we have elections, to avoid these, start, these sort of confrontations. It's been normalized in some way over the past few years. But we're not going to normalize it here in Maricopa County. I encourage people, let's take the temperature down. Ken Lai joins us now from Mesa, Arizona. So I understand the sheriff from Maricopa County has now weighed in on these incidents as well. Uh, he says that basically this doesn't meet a threshold for a crime. He was specifically asked, what can you do about this? And he says he's going to expend resources. I can see two sheriff's uh, patrol vehicles sitting nearby. They are keeping watch on this. There are undercover deputies here as well. But that there is a right to bear arms here in Arizona. And the tactical gear, while he considers it very unfortunate, it is clothing of their choosing. And what is still happening out here, Anderson, is this is the box over my right shoulder, very innocuous. We are seeing people vote. But 
This is still continuing. You can see these folks on these lawn chairs. It doesn't appear any of this particular group is armed. That's usually when the sun comes down that uh, people here and deputies here have told us that they show up. The sheriff did say that he's working with the Department of Justice to see if any of this might be impeding the vote and if this is a violation of a federal crime. One thing I should add, Anderson, is that a lawsuit has been filed by a, a couple of activist groups and organizations seeing if they do actually believe that this is a violation of civil rights of a voter and hoping to stop this. Hmm. Anderson? Jung Long, appreciate it. Thanks.